Selena Gomez might be a billionaire right now, but that was not always the case. Listen, because of money, she almost didn't become who she is. We got to talk about Miss Selena Gomez, but before we get into it, please let me introduce myself. My name is Sebastian. I spill pop culture tea videos every single day. So if you're looking for a new messy best friend who spills pop culture tea and is covering everything Diddy, Kardashians, the Biebers, you name it, I'm covering it. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button. I would be so grateful. All right, best friend. So listen, we got to talk about Selena Gomez. But before we get into Selena, I just wanted to, you know, give you guys a little bit of, of a little insight of who I am. So not only do I spill tea, but I also love to just put some motivation out there and put some light out there and just kind of, you know, encourage you guys to go after your dreams. You know, I am that messy best friend, yes, but I'm also that friend who wants you to be the best you can. So this video might be a little bit different than the others I've been doing. It's more of like a, a T slash motivational thing. So if you're feeling a little bit low in motivation and energy, this might be the video for you, okay? That's why I put this video last, you know? So listen, girl, um, aside from all the Diddy things, since it's such a serious topic, I thought it would be really cool to have a little refresher. So listen, Selena Gomez, she was in the Ellen DeGeneres show in 2008, I believe, and she told Ellen that Disney Channel was having a worldwide nation casting in California, but that she could not afford to fly to California. So she sent in tapes, okay? Listen, from not being able to afford to come to California to actually becoming a billionaire, okay? Let's talk about this, best friend, because Selena Gomez has literally beat beaten all the odds, you know, from physical illness to mental, you know, um, challenges, you know, bipolar, heartbreak, the transplant. And aside from all her personal things, you also have to say, you know, think about, she was a Disney uh, actor. Usually Disney actors don't really go that far. You know what I mean? But Selena Gomez beat all the odds and now there's Oscars buzz surrounding her. Listen, I've always said this and I and I and I will be very real with you guys. I fully believe that anything and everything in this world is possible. I really truly do. I don't think that some people are the lucky ones. I don't believe that. I don't believe that some people are the chosen ones, the golden ticket carriers. I really don't believe that. I fully believe in my whole heart that we all have it in us to be the best that we can be. Listen, Selena Gomez started off in Barney, right? Started off in Barney, then Wizards of Waverly, right? Then comes a music career, right? Then comes uh, a couple movies, right? Then comes, you know, um, the cooking show, Rare Beauty, how, how Only Murders in the Building, you know, all these things that she has done, right? And now she is an actual billionaire, okay? Selena Gomez has gone through so much physically and mentally. And honestly, everything that she went through, a lot of people would probably not be able to, to survive it. A lot of people would not be able to survive it. In fact, I remember she was so bad at one point, the, the tabloids were like, were just trashing her. Everybody was just trashing her. I thought, you know, I pray that this does not end up like another tragic Hollywood story. And the fact that she turned her life around and she has done everything with such grace, she has done everything with such inspiration and such selflessness, because that is the key with Selena Gomez. Selena Gomez is so selfless. She is so incredibly about helping other people that that is why I believe she has attracted so much and she has gained so much, right? Listen, they have said everything and ev anything and everything about Selena Gomez. Body shaming, mental health shaming, you know, calling her a pick me girl, you know, saying she's a, a professional victim and, you know, she's not talented and, you know, she's obsessed with Justin. I mean, it's been crazy on the internet. And she's living her best life. She's actually living her best billionaire life. And she's done it with such gratitude towards her fans. She is one of the many, very few celebrities that stops and actually acknowledges her fans, that she's actually there for her fans. So I'm so proud of Selena Gomez and she's such an inspiration. I think a lot of people always ask like, 
Why do you love her so much? I love her because she's a true inspiration. She is so incredibly, uh, you know, she gives herself so much to her fans. She's not afraid to be her vulnerable self. She's not afraid to put things out there. She's not afraid to, you know, come off any certain way. She is so unapologetically herself and she does it with such grace. And that is why she is so successful because had she hid all of the things that she's gone through, she wouldn't be as relatable as she is now. And that is why you see all these other celebrities trying to be a little more low key and more relatable because I call that the Selena Gomez effect, okay? The Selena Gomez effect. So Selena Gomez's story inspired me to share a little something with you guys. Um, I, I've never actually opened up about this, but you know, when we first moved to Los Angeles, I told you guys a little bit about the hostel we lived in, but you know, we, we didn't have a penny to our names and our parents thought that we lived in a one bedroom apartment. My mother was in, uh, in Europe. My, my husband's family was in Colombia. They thought we were living the best LA dream. We sometimes could not even afford to have dinner, you know, no food, seriously. Um, I will say this to you guys. We we used to do uh, anything for money. Basically, you know, the uh, we used to go to uh, uh, shows, talk shows or, um, you know, uh, sitcoms with live audiences. And we were the audience and we would clap and we would be like, oh, oh, oh wow. Like we would go to all these shows that would have us. And it was like minimum wage for an hour, um, which for us was like everything, you know, because... If it was not for those shows, we honestly, I don't know what we would have done until we got, you know, jobs. So we were very, very, very uh, struggling financially. And I finally got this job where they, they treated me honestly horribly. Like, I'm going to tell you, they're no longer in business. It was a shoe store. And when I tell you, I've never been treated so inhumane in my life. Um, if I'll go into that in another video because I don't want to make this video too long. But um Selena Gomez's story inspired me to tell you guys this. You know, we all have a dream. And when my husband and I moved to Los Angeles, we had a dream. But of course, life is happening and life does get in the way, right? And I will never forget that, you know, the shoe store, it was in a mall. And I would just stare at the people walking by with like, you know, shopping bags and all these things. And I mean, my husband and I, Sometimes we would go a couple of days with, you know, only having like one ramen to share. Like we didn't have any, any, anything when I tell you anything. And if my mom would send us like a Christmas gift or a birthday gift, it would go to pay bills. And we didn't want to worry them either, right? And we always figured like, look, we're here. We're going to work our asses off and we're going to make it happen. But I will say that, you know, even just looking at my coworkers come in with, with food from, you know, the food court you know, I was starving because I, you know, I did not have food, right? And I just remember like thinking to myself, you know, I don't think I'll ever get out of this. And one thing that I would, would tell you is that, you know, in life, I do believe that you have to be so grateful for what you have. But in the other hand, it's also okay to strive for more. It's also okay to 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 dream big you know and at that shoe store i will never forget me on my knees putting the shoes on the people and starving and you know if my coworker would bring some extra food she would give it to me i think she definitely was catching on that you know i i couldn't afford for it. I, I was always telling them like i'm fasting or you know this and that or whatever and it was not the case but you know in my in my lunch breaks i would go sit in the massage chairs without putting them on just kind of sitting there my coworkers would always like D don't you like eat and one of my coworkers was like I mean Sebastian like do you have like an eating thing because I mean obviously I can see that you eat and she did like this but why aren't you eat why don't you ever eat on your breaks and they would always always like hassle me about that until one day I just was like I can't afford food are you happy about that I can't afford food so, you know, then they would always bring me like little treats and stuff. And I felt kind of bad, but I was like, girl, after like two months, yes, this is a reason. But I tell you this because I, I, you know, 
in life, I think we all go through so many things, but we just have to we just have to not give up. And every time I go to a grocery store, even now, every single time, I literally feel so much gratitude to be able to go into a grocery store. You know, we obviously have a budget still, but to be able to get, oh, I think I want cereal. Oh, I think I want this almond milk. Or, oh, I think I want this little treat. Little things like that for me are the biggest blessings in the world. And I look and I know that there are so many people suffering in this world. And I just feel like if we all kind of helped and motivated one another and tried to inspire one another and put a little a little hope within ourselves to one another, I think that a lot of us can be pushed to really go after our dreams. And I tell you all of this because... I know what it's like to feel helpless. I know what it's like to feel so worried that you you can't concentrate, you can't do anything, you can't function. I know. But I'm also here to tell you that I do believe that anything is possible. I believe that the whole world is possible. I believe that we all have it in us to make our wildest dreams come true. So I just wanted to do this video because Selena Gomez inspired me so much from not being able to afford to come to California for an audition to being an actual billionaire. It's such an inspiring story. So I am so inspired and I just wanna give that to you guys. Let's work hard on our dreams. Let's inspire one another. Let's lift each other up. Girl, I'm not saying I'm Mother Teresa. I will still spill this tea and be shady, you know, when I have to. But other than that, I really want to bring some light, you know, to you guys. And just to let you know that I do believe that anything is possible. And um, lastly, you know, I'll never forget uh, a Christmas that my husband and I had our first Christmas here. Um, we went to 99 Cent Store. R.I.P. the 99 cent store. And we got this little treat that we still have to this day. We've never thrown it out. And um, we couldn't afford to buy each other any presents or anything. My mom and his parents, you know, send us Christmas money, but we, we had bills to pay. Um, but I'll never forget, we, it was one of the best Christmases ever because we spent the whole Christmas just being grateful, even though we have to share a bathroom with 20 people and there was always rats in the ceilings and, and crazy shit going down, gun and guns and all these crazy things, mice is in the kitchen and stuff. We sat around, around our miniature Christmas tree, giving so much gratitude and so much thankfulness because we were in Los Angeles where we wanted to be forever. So... I just tell you all this because anything is possible and, um, you know, we we both believe that if you can dream it, if you have faith in God or whatever higher power you have, you can reach anything you want. So I love you all. Okay. Enough after school special. I love you all and I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah.